scouting right now. And we got a pond that's pretty, got a fair amount of ducks on it. So we're staying back from the pond because we do not want to spook the ducks. That is critical. We want to leave them alone. We don't want to spook them up and then watch them. So here we'll pan over that pond and zoom in on them so they can see what we're looking at. So tomorrow morning we're going to come set up. The wind's supposed to be northwest, so we'll sit on that dam. The wind at our back. There's probably more ducks up in this arm. I'd like to be able to see it. That other thing behind this sucker is flooded too. So they may be Put a bunch of them like down in there yesterday when we spooked them out. Right. Like, like straight in. So if the wind is tomorrow, it should be northwest, so it should be all right, so we came down. We're scouting all of our, some of our holes that's open right now. But so we got a bunch of ducks loafing on the dam. And then up in this side, it's flooded grass and they're in there eating. So this is a good hole, especially for this time of year because there's a good mix in there. So it's a good limit of browners, widget, and gadwall teal. So if we don't find anything better, this will probably be the one we shoot tomorrow. And what we'll do is we'll bounce all these ducks around these ponds we can shoot each day. <laughs> All right, let's check out another one. So, this is another pond, and what we're doing right now is we're debating on whether or not we want to manage these basically, because we know if we bump these, they're probably gonna go that other pond we got that's loaded up. There's a good chance we got a diver hole going here, though. So we're trying to figure out what we got. Yeah, they keep coming down to this corner and they disappear, but I'm seeing all divers right now. All right, well, I'm gonna ease up here. We'll get a better look. <laughs> hide. No, leave it. Leave it. Hide. Hide. Good boy. 
good boy. No, no, hide. 